the epithelial to mesenchymal transition is an important pathway in developmental biology. In epithelial to mesenchymal transition, epithelial cells undergo a rearrangement of structure and changes in properties in order to become migratory mesenchyme. Normally, epithelial cells are connected and unable to move independently to each other. This prevents the restructuring of cells required during development. As such, epithelial to mesenchymal transition is often followed by a mesenchymal to epithelial transition in order to restructure an epithelial tissue. Epithelial cells usually have a polar structure from basal to apical membranes. Furthermore, epithelial cells are usually connected to each other via epithelial calcium-dependent adhesion molecules, or adherin for short. Epithelial cells are similarly bound to the extracellular matrix by the presence of molecules such as integrins. These help to link epithelial cells together and allow them to transfer force as a cohesive whole. However, these same bonds also restrict movement. As such, they require epithelial to mesenchymal transitions in order to be able to undergo invagination. The epithelial to mesenchymal transition is first signaled for by the arrival of regulatory molecules. These signaling factors bind to extracellular membrane surface receptors to trigger a signal cascade. Alternatively, they may pass through the membrane into the cytoplasm, where they bind to intracellular receptors. Both these events lead to the production of transcription factors, which activate genes essential to the epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Although the regulated genes for different epithelial to mesenchymal transitions differ, they fulfill similar roles. These genes encode proteins responsible for the degradation of E cadherin and integrins to reduce interconnectivity between epithelial cells and the epithelial cells in extracellular matrix. Proteins responsible for restructuring the cytoskeleton are also produced, which induce a loss in cell polarity. Further expression of genes leads to expression of proteins and structures responsible for the invasion of the extracellular matrix, such as pseudopodia. Furthermore, proteins responsible for migration and cellular motility are also produced. These changes within the cell result in the transition into a mesenchymal cell capable of migration in three-dimensional space and invasion of the extracellular matrix. These result in the restructure of the tissue and the formation of new tissue structures.